I haven't been here since the last video, but from what I hear, things have completely changed. Oh my God, it's changed a lot. You can already tell from here. So everything over at Project X is moving really, really fast at the moment. Before we get started and we have a wander around, one thing that I want to start doing is answering on video some of the comments that you guys are leaving, because I feel like it allows me to answer them in a little bit more depth. One of the first comments that I've seen is from, I'm not even going to attempt to say that. So one of the first comments that I've seen says, so this is why the leggings are going up in price, but the quality still sucks. And I understand where some of that will be coming from. So probably about a month or so ago, we launched the camo leggings, which were a higher price point than what a lot of our previous leggings were. And to be fair, we sort of do a little bit of a review after every launch. And we all agreed internally that we didn't communicate the pricing on that very well at all. Now that product, that category as a whole, is really, really good and we're seriously proud of that product. There's always going to be more expensive and less expensive products throughout the range and that was one of the top tier products that we launched. And we were really, really proud of the quality of that, the amount of R&D and development and work that the designers and the product team put into that. When people started to receive the product and they were really, really happy with the leggings and they were really happy with the price that they paid for them. So are our products going up in price? No, they're not. I think certain categories might be, but as a whole they're not. There are actually a lot of categories which are coming down in price. In terms of quality, our quality is going way up. We want to be head and shoulders above everyone else. And I genuinely, genuinely know that we can achieve that. But obviously that's a work in progress and we need the constant feedback from you guys that I know that we're already receiving. We need that to continue. So if you're feeling something, if you're thinking something, if you've got something that you're not 100% happy with, then please make sure that you either get in touch with me with customer service or you know just drop a comment on any of our social channels. Another one uh, from Sam Peterson, obviously not in the near future, but a possibility of a GSLC chain of gyms. So again, as well as product-based, Project X has a huge, incredible gym in it, and this is an opportunity for us to learn. We're not gonna make gyms until we are 100% categorically sure that they are the best in the world. And that's something that's really important to me and that's really important to the entire team here. The end goal is yes, I would love to do that, and I would love us to have incredible gyms all over the world. And as Project X and GSLC comes to life, that's definitely something that we're keeping in the back of our mind. Someone commented on Instagram and they said, meanwhile, you're almost always sold out of the popular sizes of your men's line. Again, I completely agree. The stock hasn't been ideal on this. And again, to be honest, it's across women's as well. We're definitely selling out of things too quickly. But if you look at where we were 12, 18 months ago, it's not even comparable. We're in stock of a lot more things now than we were. And this isn't a case of where we're allocating our money as such. This is a case of us planning in advance as to where we will need more quantities and product. And again, in some cases, we just got it wrong. We haven't stocked enough of certain things. In some things, we've stocked too much. And believe me, every single day that goes by, we're getting better and better at this. So that's all the comments that I wanted to quickly respond to. And this is something that I want to do a little bit more regularly. We'll head over now and we'll have a little walk around Project X as it is today. And again, to be honest, if you've got any comments on the design of this place, I would love to hear them. So I hope you enjoy and let's go and take a look. So we're back in Project X. I haven't been here since the last video, but from what I hear, things have completely changed. Yeah, because there's so much change, we wanted to give you guys another walk around and show you really what's going on here. As you can probably see behind me, we've got a bunch of 3D renders as well of what the actual place will look like. So it's starting to become a lot more real. I haven't seen it yet. I'm really excited to get inside and have a look around. So let's go and check it out. Oh my God, it's changed a lot. You can already tell from here. Here we go. So we've got the mezzanine in. Oh my God, it already feels so much bigger. Obviously it's doubled up because we're putting in the extra floor, but I didn't expect it to be like that. And to be honest, the, the roof height that we've managed to maintain is ridiculous. It's a lot more than what I thought it would be. And there's a lot more natural light coming in on the top floor, which I'm really, really happy about. Initial impressions of the bottom floor is definitely a little bit darker than what I thought. So we've got a lot of work to do with the lighting and things like that in the gym area as well. So yeah, a little bit loud. There's a lot going on in here, but let's go and take a look. So this area here is going to be the changing rooms and sort of the main entry. So you'll come in down here, there'll be change rooms either side, and then you'll come through here, which is again similar to what we've done in GSHQ, which is quite a sort of like a dark entryway. And then it'll just sort of like explode into the gym area here. So we are going to have, so this entire side over here will be dedicated to sort of lifting platforms, deadlift platforms, squat racks and all that sort of stuff. So that's going to be more like the powerlifting area of the gym. In the middle here, you'll have your smoothie bar, which will be 
two concrete blocks in like an X. And then over this side, we will have a bunch of treadmills, cardio equipment, plate loaded stuff as well. And then we've got a dumbbells where I think we're going to 100 kilos, which is, you know, fairly heavy. I think this wall at the back here, which you just might be able to see in the background, is where the gym will come to. And then at the back as well, we're gonna have like a small sprinting track and all that sort of stuff, which will take you outside. We've also got like the open lorry loading base, so we'll be able to keep this open in the summer and, you know, bring in some natural light. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is really cool. So this will be sort of like the open gym yard area. We've got all the fencing in already. That's all being painted black. Yeah, it's coming along really well. A lot has been done in the last few weeks. So as we walk through here, we're still all the way into the gym. So if we look back, all of that is going to be dedicated to the gym and it's going to be absolutely amazing. So I feel like a lot of the best gyms that I've been to have an abundance of natural light. So we need to make sure that the lighting is on point in here. So this is going to be the app studio and it's massive, way, way bigger than what I thought. It's on a raised concrete platform, so you won't be able to hear anything. It's going to be completely soundproof and it's going to be perfect for recording our app videos. So even though the end sort of production quality of our current app videos was 10 out of 10 and amazing, it was so difficult for us to get to that stage and there were so many points where we had to stop filming and then start again because of noises outside, whereas in here, being soundproof and isolated, it's just perfect. This section is gonna be dedicated to our sort of factory space, our innovation center, and this is where we're gonna be producing the future Gymshark product. This is where we're gonna be researching and trying to understand new methods of creating products, different techniques and things like that. We've got a bunch of seamless machines that'll be down the far end. We'll be able to make cut and sew stuff as well. So literally, this will be our own sort of innovation hub, sample room, and we'll be able to make small product runs as well. So I know we've just done a bunch of t-shirts for people that were in the 66 campaign. All that sort of stuff will be made from here. For me and a lot of the design team and the creatives, it'll be great just to come over here and just create purposeful, exciting products. I'm probably more excited for this sort of R&D area more than anywhere else in here. For me, long term, that five, 10, 15 year vision, I think this is gonna be really, really powerful and important to Gymshark. Oh, what we have got out there is the auditorium as well, haven't we? Ah. Yeah, so one thing I as well forgot to mention just in here will be the 100 person auditorium. So that's almost like that Apple keynote style thing when we do product launches, uh, we've got company announcements, things like that. We'll be able to do it from there in a really sort of cool professional environment. And some of that I'm working on personally is my public speaking skills and that'll be an amazing place for me to work on that as well. So outside here, we've got our containers, you can probably see in the back. We've got two of those that are now branded up with Gymshark. And again, they're really useful for our events. More upstairs, we'll be planning on things, from, you know, building out mini stores, trying to understand how to create that best experience. This whole project is going to be an incredible place because it means that we can play around with ideas, whether it's testing products in the gym or producing things here in a load of one-offs and trying to innovate and create purposeful products. What this place does is it gives us an incredible opportunity to invest invest in the long term of our future. We're up on the mezzanine now and it's a lot bigger up here than I thought it would be. I've just been told from here to there is around 60 metres, so that should give you a sort of idea of the length of this place. There is going to be like a firewall going down here, so this will be separated and we're not actually using the space at the end immediately. Entry into this won't be up makeshift stairs that we just took up, it'll be through here, so they're going to knock through this wall and then up here you'll have where we're stood, a huge four-sided cove, and then the studio like we've got at GSHQ, there'll be four of them all lined up along here as well. Natural light is lovely up here, it's great having all these skylights up on the roof. I'm really impressed. I'm really, really, really impressed. And I think this is supposed to be finished sort of end of August, September time. So if that gets done, then again, be well happy, be able to catch the last few weeks of the summer, train outside and yeah, this is a very surreal experience and I'm really excited for this place to be finished in the next six or so months.